<laughs> All right, so this isn't a real iPhone 6. In fact, it's an almost aesthetic identical to Apple's handset that runs Android, Google's operating system, and it's called the GooPhone 6. These iPhone copies have become more and more popular since the continued rise of iPhone popularity, and copies are getting better and better, and are looking almost identical to an authentic iPhone. One of the strangest things which struck me about this phone is just how out of the way the creators have gone to making it look like the real deal. Even throughout the packaging, almost everything is identical to authentic Apple. For comparison, here's an actual iPhone 6 box side by side with the fake for a reference. Everything down to the documentation to the earpods, the only thing missing is the Apple stickers. Uh, it's so close in fact that it's possible they've, they've simply used an actual Apple box and accessories and only swapping out the actual iPhone itself. So in terms of how they look, I think it's fair to say that GooPhone have done a pretty good job. The gold iPhone 6 is definitely going to fool most people on the street, and most people holding it even. The build materials are similar, and the true iPhone 6 definitely feels a lot more robust and reassuring, but it's not a crazy difference to the point that you wouldn't be able to use this copy on a daily basis. So talking about the design and build, I did a little test on my social networks, mainly on my Instagram. I wanted to see whether people would be able to tell which was the real iPhone, and the response was overwhelmingly correct. Correct. I'd probably say around 90% of people got that the gold iPhone was fake and it was mainly due to the camera flash being too recessed on the Goo phone. If you look closely you can also see that there's a few inconsistencies on the bottom of the device around the lightning ports and the headphone jack but it really is pretty minimal. You're going to need to know that it's fake to probably to spot things like this. So now onto the inconsistencies between these two devices and the real reason you probably won't be buying one anytime soon and that is the software. Even though the Goo phone claims it's running iOS 8.1 as you can see here, it's actually a heavily skinned and customized version of Android. This for one means that there's giant inconsistencies with what iOS actually looks like, and it is slow as hell. General tasks do okay, but things like typing, web browsing, or taking photos are just a bit painful when you know what the true iOS experience is like. For comparison, here's the time it takes to open Safari, visit my YouTube channel, uh, close down Safari, and kill the process from the app switcher, and I've recorded both a real iPhone and the Goo phone to give you a sense of just how big the difference is. Also, so there are a few things which pop up throughout normal usage which obviously haven't been tweaked from original Android, or that are represented in Chinese, which is obviously the main language of the Goo phone creators. Or the fact that Touch ID is almost identical to Apple's in every single way, apart from the fact that I've only scanned in my thumb, and very often it lets me through using any of my other fingers. Couple that with the fact that you can simply screenshot to get through a password protected lock screen, and there's a lot of things which make this phone funny, but not a great investment for the still not insanely cheap $150 price mark. In fact, if you're looking to get a budget smartphone, go for something like the Moto G 2014. This runs loops around the Goo Phone 6. If you're looking for a budget iPhone, buy a second hand one on eBay. This cheap knockoff looks the part, but it sure as hell doesn't perform like it. It might be good for a bit of novelty fun, but it's a pretty pricey joke. I would be very apprehensive to say you could use this phone on a daily basis with the software that it runs. Perhaps if you've never used an iPhone before at all, but if you've used anything perhaps above an iPhone 3GS, the Goo Phone 6 just isn't going to float your boat. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this phone, so let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'll be down there answering for the next few days or so, so definitely uh, leave your opinions. If you made it to this point in the video, feel free to leave the video a like, and I will catch you next time.